Sea Moss Gel is a moisture-rich way to define, soften, and protect your curls. Today's video is all about how to make sea moss gel for your hair without using any heat. Using a heat-free method helps to retain all the benefits sea moss gel has to offer, some of which are providing amazing slip, lessening breakage, and it makes our curls much more manageable. This recipe is nice, simple, and straightforward. I went ahead and picked up some sea moss from Amazon, and this one is wild crafted. We need to take our time when we are cleaning this out and ensuring that we're doing it properly. I'm taking about a cup of dried sea moss, taking 10 minutes at a time to soak it in spring water. This way it could expand a little bit. Because it's a natural product, we need to wash it out really well. You'll want to repeat this process about two to three times, soaking it for 10 minutes in spring water, allowing it to expand just a little bit and massaging the sea moss to help get the sand out. The final step I did was rinsing it in a colander. When you rehydrate sea moss, mine quadrupled in size. Like it was four times the size it was before, which was crazy to me. When you're blending the sea moss, you want to start with a little bit of water and work your way up. I started with one cup of water to see what the texture would be like. Very simple, very straightforward. I am saving half of the sea moss gel for my skincare because I do not want to use the recipe I created for my hair on my skin. It has things that shouldn't be touching my face. I went ahead put that aside it has so many benefits for your skin if you guys want a video on that i can make a video you also can take it internally as well it has so many benefits for your health now, if you came here, I'm assuming that your hair is most likely curly like mine, and this is a very important step. Strain the gel after you blend it. Even if you have a high-powered blender, you'll still need to strain it to ensure that there aren't little tiny pieces stuck in your hair. Now, my preferred way of doing this is with a French press, and then the next steps, we're going to add in some grapeseed oil and tangerine essential oil because of all the amazing benefits they give. A really cool thing I noticed about CMOS gel is that it has an emulsifying effect once you mix everything all together it doesn't separate it just stays in one smooth consistency It's been said that you could use the gel as a leave-in hair mask or a gel styler, but I'm going to show you how I use it as a styler. You just dampen your hair with water. I added a little bit of herbal oil to seal in the moisture. And then I'm adding the gel and using my finger rolling styling technique to hold the curls in place. The texture of sea moss gel is really cool. It feels kind of like if you mix a pomade and a gel together. It's very creamy, but it also provides a stronger hold than say a traditional cream would. After styling my curls with sea moss gel, it dried down to a very soft hold. There was zero flakes. My hair responded to the sea moss gel really well. If you guys want to see more videos like this, subscribe, like, and share this video. For more beauty DIYs, you guys can check out my aloe vera face mask video. That one is so simple, easy. The recipes are really great if you have acne prone skin or if you're looking to even out your skin tone and just have glowing, healthy skin. Thank you guys for coming through. As always, I'm sending you all the love, light, and good vibes, and I'll see you in the next one.